So before we get started, I just wanted to film a real quick intro. Today's video is going to be a homeschool with me. We're going to be going through the Horizons Kindergarten curriculum, reading and phonics, letter I today. Just kind of showing what a day doing a lesson looks like with us, maybe to give you a better idea if this curriculum would be a good choice for you. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And before we get into it, I apologize for the clutter in the background of my kitchen. I almost didn't post it because of that. But honestly, this is real life and you know, I wasn't gonna refilm it just because my kitchen isn't completely spotless perfect and because my son is in pajamas and eating popcorn in the video, but you know what? That's how we get through school and snacks definitely help us, so that's a good recommendation for homeschool. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you here. Let's get into the video. So first, let's go through our alphabet story like we always do. Andy Alligator was chomping down on an apple. His father, Alex, said, Andy Alligator, it's time to take a walk and have you learn the alphabet. I already know my name starts with the first letter, an A. And I know about the letter B because big boy Bob has a baseball and a bat. Could we ask him to come with us? Great idea, said Andy's father. Let's go to the castle and see if we can find Candy Cat. She is usually eating catnip because she likes everything that starts with the letter C, like her name. Here is Dandy Doll all dressed up, said Andy. What is she going to do? That is a D on her dress, and she is going to dry the dishes. They walked a little farther and saw Eddie Elephant looking in at Eagle's nest. This is an E, said Dad. I think Eddie Elephant sat on the edge looking for eggs in the Eagle's nest. They came to Freddy Fish. He was trying to catch a football with a fork on the fence. He had the letter F on his shirt. Gary Goat goes golfing with a gorgeous girl named Gail. The letter G was painted all over the golf ball. Hi, said Happy Hippopotamus. Can we play hopscotch? How do you like my new hat with the letter H on it? It is a honey, said Andy's father. Look here, it is Iggy Inchworm itching by the igloo. He thinks everything that starts with the letter I needs to be sent to an igloo. He has a family of insects and they are all going to get some ice and go to an igloo. Jolly Jerry held a jumping jack in the box. It popped up showing the letter J. Let me go with you. I will pop up anytime you want, said Jolly Jerry. Katie Kangaroo was flying a kite and on it was painted a big red letter K. Kite flying is fun when you know K is for kite, said Katie. Lucky Leo Lion said, I am licking the letter L off my licorice lollipop. You can have a lollipop when you know the letter L. Molly Monkey was making music for the merry-go-round. She said, you do not have to have any money to go on a merry-go-round. Just know the letter M. Nancy Nurse was counting nine nickels. I know the letter N, said Nancy. I would like to go along too. I will save my nine nickels for later. Ollie Octopus swung his arm around an ox and made a circle in the shape of an O. Here is an O for octopus, he said. Patty Pig painted a picture of a peach pie and said, since you know the letter P of my name, I will give you some of my peach pie. There was Quincy Quail feeding the queen under a quilt. Quincy Quail showed the food to Andy. Each piece of food for the queen is shaped like the letter Q. The queen likes that, he said. Everyone saw Robbie Rabbit riding a rocket. I'm riding over a rainbow on this ranch. Come with us, said Sammy Sailor as he sat on a sailboat eating a sandwich and sipping a soda. I have the letter S on the side of my sailboat. I will share a soda and a sandwich with you. Timmy Turtle heard them talking. I am the teacher with a telescope watching 10 tired turtles trotting. Look at this letter T and I will teach you all the alphabet. Uncle Umpire was using an umbrella and he was wearing his uniform. He just finished umpiring a soccer game. On his uniform was the letter U. Let's join the gang and see if we can find that music I am hearing, said Uncle Umpire. Victor Vulture was nearly all packed up to go on his vacation. Let me play this song on my violin. This is letter V for a very fine violin. He met Wandering Willie walking to the wigwam. I have been following the path that looks like the letter W. I need to find some worms so I can go fishing. This must be where X marks the spot. Here is an x-ray and it shows some bones. The bones belong to Max Fox, said Andy Alligator. You're close to Yolanda Yellow, said Andy's father. Here is her yellow yo-yo sitting on the letter Y. 
Zippy Zebra lives in the zoo. Here is a coat with a zipper and you can wear it if you all know the letters of the alphabet. Let's say them together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, N, Z, Z. Good job. All right. So like we said today, we're talking about the letter. Letter I. Mm -hmm. So do you know, is I a vowel or a consonant? Consonant, uh, vowel. Vowel, yeah, it's a vowel. So the letter I is a vowel that can be used at the beginning, middle, or end of a word. The vowel I makes the sound we hear at the beginning of oh, Iggy, in Iggy Inchworm itches, right? Because he itches by the igloo, remember? The interesting thing about I is that it can be used by, as a word all by itself. So when it's used by a word all by itself, it's it just an, looks like capital I, and we just say I when we see it, okay? Uh-huh. So remember how we start off? Well, it's always the capital if it's by itself as the word, so it'll always look like that if it's the word I. Does that make sense? We'll see when we get to a story. I'll show you. So, oh, we forgot the most important thing. How do we always start off? We always start off by writing our name, right? All right, now that we have our name, we're ready to go over. So let's review the rules again. What's the first rule about vowels? Every word has a vowel. Yep, every word has a vowel. And what's the second rule about vowels? If there's only one vowel, it makes the short sound. It makes the short sound, that's right. Okay. So what what words do we have here that start with I? We have ill, so Ill. that's like sick. Insect. Insect, igloo. Iguana. Iguana, good job. And this is an inchworm. Inchworm? That's what? Iggy the inchworm? Yeah, that's right. So activity number um. one. So we're going to put a circle around each picture with a short I sound, beginning as in Iggy inchworm itches. So what's the short I sound? Can you say it for me? Eh. Eh, that's right. So these are our pictures. What are our pictures? Remember what this one was? Ill. Ill. Bed. Bed. Measure. So this is showing an inch. Because inch. we're looking at a ruler and it's showing one. So that's one inch. And do you know what this is? Bug. So this is an insect. So you're going to put a circle around each picture that starts with the short I at the beginning. Perfect. Now this one is activity number two. Right? So we're going to put an X on each picture with a short I in the middle. So not at the beginning, but in the middle of the word. And we're going to put an X, okay? So we have, do you know what this is? Notice where the arrow is, so we're looking at the lid. Lid. Do you know what this is? Present. So this is a gift. 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 Good job. What, what's he doing there? Dig. Dig. Good job. And do you know what that's pointing to on the... F e fin. Good job. Perfect. Yep, they all have that short I, don't they? We're going to circle the letter you hear that makes the beginning sound. So we have a dish, D -ish. a gift, and a bed. bed. So which letter do you hear as the beginning sound? Let's start with this one. What letter do you hear to begin with? Good, because it's a dish. Yeah, dish. So it's a D for dish, right? Mm -hmm. Good job. What about this one? G yeah. Good job. So it's the letter G, G for gift. How about this one? B. B. Good job. For bed. Bed. So it's the letter. B. B. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to activity number four. For this one, we're going to circle the letter that makes the middle vowel you hear. So, do you remember what this was a picture of? Fin. Fin. So what's the middle vowel that you hear in that one? Good. It's the I, right? Because it's I, right? Cap. Cap. So what's the vowel? Good job. It's A for ca, right? How about this one? D Ig. What's the middle vowel you hear? D Ig. So it's I. Good job. Perfect. 
Uh oh, we're on to the next page. So what's the first thing we do when we get to our next page? Write my name. Write your name. So go ahead and write your name. Now we're gonna practice mm. printing the vowel I. I. So follow the numbers to make the letter I. So you already know how to do I, right? You go straight line down, line on the top, line on the bottom, right? You already know how to do that. So can you show me? I already know how to do both of them after now. Can you, can you write a few for me? Good, that's a really nice one. I love that one. I can so, you number seven. And we're gonna print the lowercase i under each picture that starts with the vowel sound of i. Good, that one does start with i, right? What is this? Igloo. Igloo, what's that? Iguana. Iguana. Just make sure that your little dot is close to your letter. Okay, perfect, I love that one. Oh, this is what mommy talked about earlier. So the capital I can stand alone and make a word. It has the long I sound when it stands alone. Read the phrases below and then write them on the lines. So what does this phrase say? It's I because it's standing alone. So we don't say I, we say I when it's by itself like that. So when it's its own word and it's just the letter I, we read it as I. I, I, d, I, d, did, I did. Good job. So now go ahead and write that one. Leave some space, remember, so we can tell that it's a separate word. Can you read what that one says? I do. Now we're gonna go to our blend. So we have our practice writing and saying the sounds. So we have our cards here and we have um, on writing. So let's go through, I know you're pretty good at the writing, but let's go through these blends that are on here. Ba. 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 Well, so this is the word do, but we read it as da, so like dog. Because we're looking at it as the blend, not as the word. Does that make sense? So when we see it with another letter behind it, we would say da. When we saw, see it by itself, that is do. You're right. Go. That is the word go, but just like do when it's in the blend, we say go. We're gonna practice writing the blends, okay? Go. Go. So now it says activity 10. Read together. Activity 10, activity number 11. Read together with your teacher and mark each short vowel sound with the sign that tells you the vowel is short. We so our left letter. Yeah. Our sign that tells us the vowel is short is this little, kind of like a little smile. Well, it's it's A E I O. Or do? We haven't done you yet, have we? So we're gonna mark the short. We won't go those that. We're gonna mark the short vowel sound. So we're gonna read them together. Sa. Sa. So d does that make the short vowel sound? No. So yes, it does, because remember, a is the short sound. Okay, we're gonna mark the short vowel sound. What's a mark? I'm gonna show you on the first one. So we said that this is the short vowel, right? Because it says a for da. You just go like that, okay? Hmm. So that's the same we're gonna do for any of the ones that have a short vowel. So what's that one? Did you read it first to make sure it was the short vowel? Mm. So. De, right? To, uh, yeah, I read it in my head. De. How about this one? Uh, I already read it. What is it? De, it, de. De. Good job. What's that one? Since you read it. Oh, uh, fa. Okay. Eh. Good job. Eh. Good. Ga. Ga. Good job. No. No. Remember, we just marked with the short vowel sound, so we're not gonna read it as go. We're gonna read it as. Go. Oh, I, I don't know. Go. Ah. Ga. Go. Good job, perfect. So now we're gonna read the words together and mark the short vowel sound if we hear it. So, may I help you with these? I will help you with these. D, A, Dan. Dan. Does that have the short A or the long A? So remember, long A says A, short A says A. A. So does that have the short? If it has the short, we mark it like this, just like we did on the other one. A. So is it the short vowel or the long vowel? Short vowel. Short, that's right. So we need to put the little mark. Oh, God. 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 Good 
Good job. But it's like who fell? Anybody could have fell. You saw something fell and made that work? Mm-hmm. It is thin. So they all had the short vowel, didn't they? Um. Right? Nah. Hmm. Now today's story, we are reading the twins. So I'm gonna help you read about the twins. Why are they both the same? Because they're twins. That means they're both boys. Which means they're alike. Well, they're it looks both. like one might be a girl. I can't really tell from that drawing. So we're reading the twins. Yep. It. Jill. Good job, Jill. So remember to use your finger when you read. That way you can I stay right know. on track. Hmm? Can we please see your finger? I don't know those yeah, two I don't words. see you using your finger. And Jill and and Jim Jim are Remember that's the sight word. R R twins. Good job. Oh, there's a period in all the sentences. Yep, that means it's the end of the sentence, right? Ew, Jim, and Jim. Remember that word was R? R. I just can't remember stuff. It's six. Yeah. So Jill and Jim are six, right? Jim yeah. has a red cap. Good job. Why does he read about a cap? He has a red cap. See the picture? Jill has a red, red cap. Nope. This, that was this line. So you got to look at the right line that we're reading, honey. That's why we keep our finger while we read. Hat. Hat. Yeah. So if he has a cap, he has a hat. That's right. So Jim has a red cap and Jill has a red hat. That's funny, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Go to the next line. Okay. Right here. You were right here. That's Jim, why we keep our finger. Jim and can ju uh, jump. Good job. Jill and j it g jig. Yep. That a jig is like a little dance. Okay. Jim and Jill are. So this word is, look at the word. This word is happy. 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 Two. No. Nope. Happy. Twins. Twins. Good job. 